right? If they if they institute some sort of a social credit system, it's going to affect you. Um, Are you worried about that at all? Yeah, I heard someone talk about something like that over the weekend. What they say? Like a global credit score of some kind or something like Did that. Did you see the uh, we talked about the Yahoo article, right? Where they said that they were going to base it in some part on your browser history? Well, they they talked about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where it, well, the 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 idea was they were floating it out there that your browser history might make you available for more credit. Hmm. <laughs> so the idea would be that if you gave up all the shit you looked up, they would allow you to have more credit because they know, hey, well, he's not Googling bulletproof vests or fucking freeze-dried food. If they did that, though, people would just make burner accounts to look online you know, instantly. Right. And it'd be over. Yeah, but if they track your fucking device, like who knows what kind of ability they have to actually track your phone or your, your laptop, right? Like if Edward Snowden didn't tell us about their ability to essentially like mass store every fucking phone call and email you've ever made. If the, if Edward Snowden didn't tell us about what the NSA was cooking up, mm. we would have never guessed it. So who knows what the fuck is going on right now? You should assume that everything you say is constantly being monitored and recorded. Whether you're saying it on a phone, off a phone. Oh, look at Suzanne. She's oh, back. Hey, hey, hey. Like Will right? Harris shared a post today about a guy who went uh, spent the week at his mom's house and Sounds is now like getting advertisements like for his mother's toothpaste. Oh my god! And they never talked about it, you know. But it explained <laughs> why why that's happening. Well, your phone's listening. No, no, it has nothing to do with that. It's it's like it, it knows everything you've bought because of all of the terms and conditions you've you've done. So like right. it's checking your email and all of that stuff. Oh yeah, for sure that. And too. then linking that with like I sort of said this like a week or two ago. It, it'll have uh, your phone's. Social security number, if you will. It's like a mobile ID number. It's the right. EEIN and all that kind of stuff. It's linking it out with GPS data. So it'll know like me and you and Suzanne are all with each other. Right. So she'll start getting advertisements for stuff you're buying, mm. thinking and hoping that you might Spaceships. see uh, an advertisement. <laughs> I'm getting That's what I want. Like Suzanne will see an ad you miss. I'm like, hey, Joe, did you see this thing? You were. I bet you would love this. Well, well, what about when you talk about something and then you get an ad for that something that you've never seen an ad for before? It, it could be it's uh, it's could knows, be coincidence. It, it could have known that you were watching TV because it's coming through a streaming service now, and it knows you would have seen the ad, so it's it's re it's re giving it to you. You know, it's like mm. it's redistributing it to you. Right. Again. Like the only reason why I know about it is I've seen an ad. Yeah. Like right. I, I've been using YouTube TV for two or three years now, and I recently watched. I don't remember the reason why, but like o over the air. Uh, football game, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. over the antenna. Mm -hmm. The advertisements are so different, and I like you don't even realize it, right? But I have had conversations with you mm -hmm. 